This is a blue gold iron moment. The First Amendment for the United States Constitution, perceptive readers, actually point towards the freedom of expression of your religion, of your speech, of assembly, and also of um, press. Yes, that's freedom of expression for your religion, your speech, your assembly, and press. And if there's some type of problem or difficulty with that, that's when the people of the United States of America can actually uh, address their grievances towards Congress as far as whatever it is, see, may be causing some type of serious conflict. But one thing that you can already observe over time, over the past couple of hundred years or so, you can see in general that the freedom of expression of our religion, you see, to practice it, to speak, you see, and to press, and then also the assembly has really been no problem. No problem for reasonable people, okay? And I want to emphasize as well that it starts off in the beginning of the First Amendment, how it was saying that Congress basically would not establish a preference, if you will, a state-type religion. In other words, it leaves it up to its citizens to express, to exercise their right on how to worship, you see, uh, without them interfering or saying, look, this is uh, the official country or state religion, you see. Uh, now, remember, people mention values all the time. Uh, for the laws of the land, as I've talked about with you. So really, I think everybody can come to the conclusion that stealing is wrong, that everybody can come to the conclusion that murder is wrong, you see? And so when you're dealing with those type of attacks or crimes of violence, if you will, then again, reasonable people know when such things should be addressed. Now, when you start getting into all these other aspects of what we would call social issues, you see, social issues, at least in my observation, in in my experience, my wisdom, should never be treated the same as these crimes of violence, you see. They're not the same. And so I just wanted to tell you all, you know, uh, that is there the First Amendment of the United States. It has to deal with the freedom of expression, you know, of your religion or your worship, your speech, the press. See, they can talk. They can do what they want to do, too. And also to assemble. Have a very wonderful day. This was a blue stole gold, blue golds, <laughs> iron moment. Take care.